Hey guys, Mars Engine here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So today we are jumping straight into the new Red Zone stage for the Wicked Bloodline uh, set, which is of course the uh, Freezer and King Cold stage. So this should be uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, let's try and get rid of you. So we've got three Freezer soldiers as phase one here. Um... We'll get the super here. Yeah, we'll try and stun you if you're not get if you're not dead already. And then let's go for you with the type advantage. Can't get the 18 key super, so we might as well get the same type orbs. Um, and then yeah, we should be looking pretty good here. Uh, the Goku family slash Super Saiyans team uh, is obviously very strong. We don't have a lot of units on the team that are getting the 200% leader skill. Uh, obviously, it's the two Goku and Gohans, my one and the friend. Um, and then we have the uh, LR Tech Goku and Gohan on the team as well. Um, I think they're the only ones that get the 200% leader skill. So, uh, we get the stun and then do some damage here with the Tech Gogeta. Tech Gogeta, I think, is a unit that's still pretty damn good for these red zone stages. Just because like the scouter effect is really good. Um, the Cell Max event is obviously the one where he really started to get, um, you know, shown up a little bit. But it's only that one event, right? It's not like the end of the world. So, uh, Namek, Goku, we need you to start getting some stacks. So, let's go ahead and do this. Because then I want to get all these orbs here connected up. There we go. So, then we can do this. 23 key so big damage hopefully incoming here from the goku and gohan uh, they do get the guaranteed additional super attack as well so yeah lr bardock would actually be pretty good as well um as like a solid damage dealer you could definitely bring him instead of the namek goku namek goku will obviously get guaranteed crits against freezer so he's going to be very handy for the final phase obviously tech gohan to this day, still a useful unit. Holding it down in slot 1. Because we've got the new LR Goku as the slot 1 unit for the other rotation. But 8.4. But we need a slot 1 unit for both rotations. That's why we're bringing Tech Gohan. Because in this first phase, because the final boss is Frieza and King Cold. Uh, you can't really use God Goku. Because you're not fighting a movie boss or a pure Saiyan. But the other stage that was added today is Metal Cooler. Who obviously is a movie boss. So... Um, well, we can't really not kill here, which is unfortunate. Um, who was the one that I super attacked with last time? I actually don't even know. Yeah, that's the only problem with the rotations for this run here, is not getting the setup we wanted so that we uh, ended up with both the Goku and Gohans on uh, the same rotation, which is a little bit unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um... Hopefully, we'll be able to make it work. I mean, the unit's going to be in slot 2 anyway, right? So, unless they eat a super attack, we're going to be fine. Fortunately, Tech Goku didn't kill as well. So, we can get the super off here. Obviously, this is going to kill. But, at least that's another super attack for you. So, alright. So, Frieza and King Cold. They have sealed Gogeta. Interesting. We can fuse straight away, however, so we are going to do that. Go ahead and get the old Scouter effect in play. Plus, obviously, you know, Gogeta has the damage reduction for five turns as well once you fused. So, we should be looking pretty good here. Uh, shout out to Jaden for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so where's the super attacks? In the last slot. Uh, and it's Frieza. And King Cold are both super attacking. Interesting. Um, what type supers do they have? Because would Gogeta nullify? Uh, which one is it that he nullifies? Is it unarmed? Unarmed super attack. So Frieza. Mecha Frieza I'm assuming is going to do like a death beam. I think King Cold does as well. So pretty sure we're not going to be able to nullify uh, either of the super attacks here, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I think what we should do... Um, we will keep Gohan in slot 1. Uh, Namek Goku's going to get guaranteed crits against the Freezer. 
So we'll go ahead and do this. What's his defense at the moment? 215. Not a crazy amount, but it is what it is. So we'll do this. We'll just go all in on Freezer, and then we will Whis. Because I don't think... Like I say, I'm pretty sure they both do, like, Death Beams. So we're not going to get... Oh, actually, he can't nullify anyway. Because you have to 18 key super to be able to then nullify with Gogeta. But he's sealed. So he actually can't super attack. So that is actually very unfortunate. That kind of highlights another flaw in his design, I guess, there for that nullification. Even though, like I say, I'm pretty sure we can't nullify the supers of Mecha Freezer and King Cold anyway. But if we could... We can't on this turn because Gogeta can't 18 key super, which is unfortunate. We're going to get the additional normal attack as well from the passive, which is not great. Um, so we take double digits from the normals. How much is this going to do? 100k. All right. So King Cold, I imagine, does about the same, right? Yeah. That's not too bad. Uh, do we get the support memory off here? No. So we're actually still looking pretty good. I think I might do this, although well, I end up with the I'll end up with the Goku's on the same rotation again, so I have to be careful. I just have to remember. I just have to remember next turn that I have to float off um, the STR Goku and Gohan, and then it'll be fine. So we're just gonna keep going all in on Freezer, um, and then yeah, there we go. So let's see. Uh, we should get a lot of damage out this turn, although unfortunately the tech Goku can't uh, super attack, which is missing out on a stack. Uh, we didn't, we weren't at low enough HP to have the revival available or the support memory, but that's fine. We still have the support memory in our back pocket. I bought the uh, 17 and 18 one just for the little bit of extra heal. Um, but Goku and Gohan are going to be able to do a nice bit of damage here. They get the additional as well, so. I finally did get a dupe for them recently, so they have one dupe, 69%, full level 10 links. Hidden potential? Ah, uh, it's only a normal attack. Still, I'll take it, an extra 700,000 damage, might as well. I have no idea, I haven't seen the stats for the new uh, bosses, so I have no idea like how much HP they actually have. Uh, pro quite a lot, I can imagine, since uh, this Goku just did like 2.5 million, and Freezer's health bar didn't exactly go down by uh, a huge amount, so... Okie dokie then, what's your... 290k, is that it? Oof. Um, hmm. Do I want to transform into Ultimate Gohan? I don't think I do. So, we'll do this. Namek Goku being sealed is very unfortunate, but... I guess that means we, can, we don't have to worry about picking up orbs, because he can't super attack anyway. <laughs> so if we do this, and then that should drop down there... Oh, we didn't get the rainbow, but we can still get three orbs. Floating off the Goku and Gohan as per the plan. So, actually, if Gohan takes some decent damage from this, we shouldn't die. And then we should... Yeah, we should have the revival active now with Super Saiyan Goku. So, he's not going to be guarding on the next turn. So, that pretty much guarantees that we get uh, GG'd next turn. Yeah, getting sealed guaranteed every turn by King Cold is uh, definitely a little bit annoying. Especially when these kind of events, one of the main strategies that you can kind of use is to obviously bring these units that are going to be stacking along the way. And uh, see, look at that. Goku got three attacks off. That could have been three supers. But unfortunately, no. So... Uh, but slowly but surely, we are whittling down Freezer. Ooh, 55k. All right. Revival active. So, we get the heal off of you. Unfortunately, that is kind of wasted, right? Because we don't really uh, want that. Are you going to die in slot one? You have 262k defense. I'm assuming that he's not going to die. But then he'll die from the super, which is fine. Because I obviously want to try and do as much extra damage to Frieza as possible. So... Do this. And then... Do this. So, obviously, we're safe from losing this turn anyway. 48k. Alright, so... We should die from the super. I don't know. We're going to raise our defense again on the 18 key. Because we're not guarding. So, we might actually still take damage from Freezer as well. 
Although we are going to get the additional, so we're just going to straight up kill Freezer. Um, if Goku somehow survives the super from King Cold, then do we actually just live the turn? We might. <laughs> Alright, 365. There we go. So we get the KO, and now we get the uh, Bird Jesus, get the revival. You revive that bird, Goku. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love how anime accurate this is because Cold and Freezer definitely tried to jump trunks. That is true. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Stop sealing. Because now we can't get the super attack with him. So we can then. Um, Get another super attack towards the exchange. God damn. Alright, well, fortunately, it doesn't matter. Because uh, Gohan's going to finish off Freezer. And then... We'll do a little bit of damage to uh, King Cold. And then I guess Goku is going to be off rotation for a bit. We might as well just go for the 18 key. Might as well just try and do as much damage as we can. So... I think the Scouter effect... Yeah, we will still have the Scouter effect next turn. I think next turn is the only... Is the final turn that we're going to have the Scouter. So, we get rid of Freezer. We get the additional super attack as well. So, any additional damage we can take towards King Cold, I will absolutely take. I think maybe next turn I will transform Gohan. Because um, he's going to be over 500k defense on the next turn. So, bit of a shame we couldn't super attack with the STR... Goku and Gohan, though. I think the other one might be ready to exchange. But Also, I think we can use the... Uh, can we use the active skill for Bird Coup? No, we're not low enough. Oh, no, we are. Oh, well. Uh, I think this might be GG, then, maybe. Let's see. So we're going to use both the active skills. Yeah, it removes the action as well, doesn't it? Pretty good. And then we'll do this one. I do love this active skill. Now go on. Go Super Saiyan 2. <sighs> Such a great active skill. We don't guarantee crit, do we? I can't remember. I don't think so. Wow, nice. Big damage. Alright, so, that means we can grab this for you, these for you, because they get a boost from the number of orbs as well, so they are going to be hitting like a truck on this turn. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Goku sealed again, though, <laughs> so no uh, big damage from him. Although, I mean, he did alright. He did an additional normal with a crit. But what are our boys looking like here? Nine million. That's like, that might have one do. So, very, very good. And they are going to get the guaranteed additional. So they get guaranteed crits for the turn you use their active skill as well. Because then, that means both of these are crits. Which means he's probably just dead. Oh no, we get an additional normal, which is also a crit. So yeah, I think it is guaranteed crits for the turn where you use the active skill. So Goku and Gohan just absolutely going off on uh, Freezer and King Cold there. So there you go. A little bit annoying with the ceiling from King Cold. But other than that, definitely not too much of an issue. And the AGL Metal Cooler EZA should be out now. So uh, we will go ahead and jump into that. But there you go. Red Zone, uh, Freezer, and King Cold defeated with the uh, Goku family slash Super Saiyan team. So let me know down below in the description what team you guys used to uh, beat this event. And uh, obviously we will go on to the Metal Cooler one next. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.